In this question, we're dealing with a discrete random variable, let's call that y, and that has five possible outcomes, they're here, and five possibilities, uh, probabilities associated to these. Let's actually create a table, a vertical table, that will facilitate some of the calculations. So for the outcome, negative 2, the probability is 0.1, for uh, outcome negative 1, we have probability 0.2, for outcome 0, we have 0.4, and then for 1, we have 0.2, and for 2, 0.1. So the first question is just calculate the expected value. So question A, the expected value of y is the sum of, of all possible outcomes of the probability of that outcome times the outcome. So let's just calculate an extra column here, where we calculate this term, py times y. So we get negative 0 0.2, negative 0 0.2, 0, and 0 0.2, and 0 0.2 again, because 2 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.2. So that is p of y times y. And the expected value is just the sum of all of these. And if you calculate the sum here, just think about the sum here, and that is just zero. So the expected value is zero. Let's move to part B of the question. More generally, a discrete random variable y is said to be symmetric around zero if the probability of outcome C is the same as the probability of outcome negative C. And let's just use the benefit of colors. So we have, let's say C is one, then negative C is negative one. And we see in this case, the probabilities are the same, 0.2 for both. And then we'll look at if C is two, then negative C is negative two. And the probabilities for these in this case are the same. So this is what we call a symmetric around zero distribution. So using the definition of the expected value of y, show that the mean of such a variable must be zero. So let's do that in blue. So using the definition of the expected value of y, so we can think about here, that is the sum, let's write the sum out, and we can sort of separate that into three bits, all the values of y that are smaller than zero, and over all of these we calculate py times y, then plus, so that is basically these two elements in this distribution, then plus the probability of zero times zero, that is this bit, plus and now we sum over all values larger than zero, the probability of y times y. So, so far, we haven't used the specific values of this distribution. We've just divided out this expected value for this discrete random variable, and you could do that for any random variable. It really doesn't matter yet what the probabilities are. So this guy here, of course, will be zero. In the middle, this guys will be zero. And now if we have a symmetric random variable here, then we can then we know that these probabilities here will sort of mirror each other. Okay? And you could see that here. The probability here of one negative one and one is the same. Probability for two and negative two was the same. But now, when we have negative y's here, here we really just have that y will just be the same as that y here with a negative sign. Okay? So, in some sense, you can think about this, given that these probabilities are the same, we could think of the right. Let's first write that sum on the right as it is. 
times y, and that is for all y larger than zero. And now we could write this sum here also as a sum over all y larger than zero, but we'll just put a negative y in here because what used to be in this sum, negative two, will now here be two, but multiplied with negative, so it's negative two, it's the same. And since the two probabilities are the same, we'll have symmetric as symmetric, we have the same probability in both sums, and the only difference is the negative y. And now you can perhaps see what we get here. We basically can write this as the sum of py and now we take first that y and then minus y for all y larger than zero. And of course we can see from here that this is the sum for all y larger than zero of py times, well this term is just zero, right? times zero and that is zero. So if you have a symmetric distribution around zero then you know that the expected value of that distribution has to be zero.